What's up, YouTube? This is Slidey Fry here. I decided to take the three and a half hour trip from my hometown of Santa Rosa all the way to Eureka, California. Actually, I'm now in Arcata, California, which is about 15 more minutes, like 10 or 15 more minutes north of Eureka. I'm staying at a hotel here, nice affordable price for the hotel. I'll be heading back home pretty soon. Anyways, I thought since I have a little over half an hour before I have to leave the hotel, I'll record a couple React videos. We're back to Jonathan Pie. I mean, you remember a few weeks ago when people were outside city halls brandishing assault weapons, screaming in the faces of law enforcement officers that the face mask was a symbol of oppression rather than a way to mitigate a huge public health risk. You know, I hate when people did that. That's protest Trump can get behind. Yeah, I mean, when it's a black guy taking a knee at a ball game to spotlight police brutality and racism, sons of bitches. I know, I hate it. It's so country, a country hypocritical. Is built on the fruits of genocide, slavery, and oppression, much like the British Empire before it. Black guy taking a knee at a game, son of a bitch. What about a white <laughs> guy taking a knee on a black man's throat? Oof, yeah. What has he got to say about that? Yeah. Uh, job numbers are better than expected. It's a great day for George. <laughs> no, it isn't Good a job, great day voice. for George, Mr. President. He's fucking dead. It, yeah, was, that's such a stupid disgusted. thing Trump said. I was disgusted. Uh, and appalled. Appalling. Uh, well, yeah, well, I was appalled I agree. as well. Yeah. I'm as appalled as you are, Tim. And disgusted. But it's not a competition, Tim. <laughs> Black Lives Matter is not a competition to see who can be the most affected exactly. by the issues surrounding black people. It's That's not true. about who's the most woke. It's not about white people demonstrating their bravery by having a good cry about their white privilege. Because doing <laughs> that makes it about you. And it's not about it's true. you or me. It's also not about going on Twitter and bullying comedians into apologising for tasteless jokes that haven't aged well. And <laughs> by the way, Tim, I read your little tweet. The target of Ali G wasn't black people. It was, in fact, the fact that this even needs explaining <laughs> is Ali G, really? depressing. But it's not about Ali G. It's not about calling Emma Watson a racist for posting something on Instagram. What? It's, it's about listening. And, and understanding and supporting and marching and changing. It's about shining a light on systemic and institutionalized racism. Mm -hmm. Emma Watson, well, well, last Tuesday was Blackout Tuesday on Instagram, but she, you know, I'm with Hermione on this one. You know, I, I didn't get that memo either. Right? <laughs> I Instagrammed a picture of my breakfast, and <laughs> within minutes, hundreds of people calling me a fascist. For, for a minute, I assumed eating a black pudding had become a racial microaggression. What the hell? Or possibly the hash brown. <laughs> it shouldn't be about attacking people who have, yeah, no in that kidding. particular case, at the very worst, made a faux pas. It, it's not about having a go at people who are of the quite reasonable opinion that violence and criminal damage usually undermines a cause and makes exactly. the possibility of change less likely. They might be right, they might be wrong, okay? But that opinion doesn't make them a racist or complicit in slavery, and anyone who says it does is a fucking idiot. Thank you. <sighs> I've, I've always been dubious of a hashtag, Tim. It just, it just feels like too easy a fix centuries of oppression and hate and pain and violence hashtag i i i hear you <laughs> can i just go back to playing candy crush you know, you know? My, my initial instinct is one of cynicism that, that a hashtag negates responsibility and achieves nothing other than virtue signaling your woke credentials whilst continuing to wear your Nike trainers that were sewn together by tiny black fingers for a dollar a day in, as the President of the United States would put it, some shithole country. But the, 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 the same reason these hashtags make me uncomfortable is the same reason why they work. It's trending. Yeah. It makes standing up for minorities trendy. It makes sticking a rainbow flag on, well, fucking everything trendy. <laughs> and because it's trendy, it can feel disingenuous and crass sometimes. But when the need for change draws a broad consensus, i.e. it becomes trendy, things start to change. Like mm -hmm. me too. Me too. I fucking hated that when that came out. But I was wrong. Because let's be honest. 
The truth is, had it not been for that particular movement, Jeffrey Epstein would be alive and well and a free man rather than a dead paedophile rapist. So, fucking mm. A, hashtag me too. Fucking okay. A, Black Lives Matter. I'm in. I'm, I'm with you, brothers. Exactly. Yeah, I, I mean, that felt racist as it came out. <laughs> It's about learning. You know, and, 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 and I, I won't be doing that again. Okay, don't do that again, sure. <laughs> well, over a week of protests across the globe, this movement feels like it really is beginning to bring about change. Uh, all right. Well, Johnson Pie once again makes amazing points. I mean, that's why he's so great. His video is once again really entertaining, and I just love the points he made. And I love how funny he is when he makes these points. I mean, it makes perfect sense. But yeah, sometimes, but honestly, I don't really post much about it because I don't want to actually explain how I feel because I feel like it's just, I don't want to make it be about me either. Um, I mean, yeah, when I post something, I'll explain how I feel about the post itself, but that's basically it. Um, the one thing I'm kind of worried about is if uh, COVID-19 cases go up because people are going out and protesting, but... I don't know. Maybe they might not go up by as much as people might think just because, um, you know, precautions are still being made mostly. I mean, some people are bunched up together, but um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. The president's response to it is just terrible. I mean, saying that George Floyd died, uh, would be happy to see how that jobs are better now. What are you talking about? And, and jobs are better? Like, no. The, the job, jobs have only increased because uh, each state is opening up more due to less restrictions uh, for, um, from COVID-19. And then, of course, how Jonathan Pye pointed out that people are calling it fascist, that state governments are trying to actually protect people from spreading the coronavirus by having them stay at home more. Like, I'm sorry. Do are you that bored with your life that when you're home, you have nothing to do? Most of my time, most of my time off is home. I, I There's plenty to do at home. You, you ever heard of the internet? You ever heard of Netflix? YouTube? YouTube? Hulu? <laughs> now there's even Disney Plus? Like, shut up. How could you, how could, quit acting like, it's horrible that you can't go out. I mean, wh what's more important, going out, having that out of town and risking spreading the coronavirus or getting it or staying at home and enjoying some entertainment with your loved ones or, in in fact, talking with distant loved ones on Zoom. Josh! Hey! Dad, hey there. Hey, Sean. Look, man, I told you the Goonies are done. Brolin sent you a cease and desist. Spielberg changed his name so you can't call him. We're done. Which is why I'm not calling about that. Now, I was wondering what you might think about tracking down a certain group of buddies, comrades, pals. I don't know, what's another, what's another word for that? Maybe, uh, oh, I know, fellowship. Hi, guys. Hey. Uh, Dom, hey. Where, did you, where did you come from? Oh, I'm always just waiting in the wings, you know, in case it's kind of a life and death situation between Sean and Elijah. Would you say you were lost? Gosh. <laughs> Come on, you're better than that, Josh. What would you all say to a Lord of the Rings reunion? Elijah? I wish this choice had never come to me. I wish none of this had happened. So do all who live to see such times, but that is not for them to decide. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to us. <laughs> Oh, Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and click that bell icon to add your notifications.